We continue to look back at what our city endured and overcame during and after Hurricane Harvey. Tonight, we are getting a first look at the water rising inside the Jewish Community Center in Meyerland. One year later, the JCC is renovated and back open. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard live in Maryland tonight, Meyerland, with a look at how the center came full circle. Ryan? And take a look behind me. You can see all of the progress. In fact, this entire playground, all new once upon a time one year ago, all this was full of water. This is what it looks like when the Braze Bayou swallows your world. This is time lapse from inside what was a senior adult lounge at the Jewish Community Center. Then flood water broke the window and flowed right inside, and it kept going until it reached the ceiling. It was sick to watch, sit there and watch over time the water filling, coming in and filling up and knowing you can't do a thing about it. Joel Dinkin is the CEO at the JCC. He led the cleanup efforts. When you saw that video, how heartbreaking was it? It was awful. And I actually, um, and I, I actually did not want it to be released publicly, but it, my uh, staff said, no, people need to see it and understand the impact here. They rebuilt in phases and prioritized their needs. At the top, child care and their Meals on Wheels program. We designed the whole distribution packing room. Today, more than 350 people relied on this program. Harvey temporarily stopped the deliveries. It really is gut-wrenching knowing that you couldn't get there um, and just hoping hoping that they were okay and hoping that they were getting what they needed. What's on the world? The classrooms are open again, so is the fitness center and the playground. All new, costing about six and a half million dollars. The goal here, make this community center like it was before it ever met Harvey. I think it was also somewhat of a, of a blessing because I think we learned to appreciate, um, A, what we have and value what we need in life um, and also value each other. Probably a good lesson for all of us. Now, one thing we've seen throughout the day, families coming and going, and that certainly means they're back. And number two, they said it was important to get that exercise room back up and going. And I asked why. They said because at that time, now as well, people want to be together. We're live in Meyerland tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.